I don't care about love, just need your touch Want you to be my vice, 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 vice I'm all about your vibe, vibe Hey guys, it is Marie, the Automation Junkie. I'm so happy to be back and just recording videos again. I have a few ideas for Sweet Dash videos that I will be releasing soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I wanted to give you guys an insight to exactly what you're looking at. I have been using a tool called Mila Note for my mapping for a while now. Um, I found it uh, somewhere. I can't remember exactly where, but it's not an absolute deal, ironically, because um, I'm on there all the time. However, I did find it and I've been obsessed with it. As you guys can currently see, um, right now what you're seeing is actually my base board. Milanote in itself is just a monster. Like it has the ability to map, but it also has the ability to have different boards and views and amazing things. Um, I think I briefly showed this in one of my videos before, but I never kind of keyed out the features. So I want to key out some features by first um, giving you guys like a tour and then I'm going to go through the process of what I actually want to show you, which is my complete workflow for my business because that's the sweet spot there. It's about how I fully structure my business and just do all the things and help other people structure theirs. Um, so on the home page, you have the ability to do the same thing that you would in any board. So the home page consider it as a board and the way that they consider boards is it's kind of like a, a play field, like a, play, a playground for all your thoughts, right? So what I like the most about this is that you have the ability to create columns um, and you have the ability to do other nice fun things here. So you have columns, you have links, you have all the things that are fun. I like to create boards for each project, but I also like to create templates because it makes me easier for me to have to just duplicate something quickly. And if I'm consistent with all the projects that I do, then I know that there's going to be certain questions I'm asking, there's going to be certain things I'm doing. So I, I want to be consistent over that. So creating a board is easy. Double tapping into that board gives you that view. And on this side here, you see that you can choose an actual template. I don't know how many tools I've went into and their templates just suck. This ain't one of them, okay? The templates that they have, you literally have endless amount of options. You have project-based ones where you literally can just um, replace all the items there. And again, I have a template that I'm gonna show you guys that you guys can grab from me here. Um, but you have mood boards because it's so fun when we're doing launch services for clients and they need to have like, a mood board to see exactly what their colors would be, their brand identity, all the things can be on one space, right? Um, I also use another tool called Podi or Podia for that, um, which I'll show you guys in another video. But you have templates, and these are all templates that can be used as the examples are there, or you can use it as a blank slate. Um, one of the things that I like, and I'll use this template here, or actually no, I'm gonna use another fun one so you guys can see how it looks. But you can have the ability to many other templates. You can do, I have a custom template that you see here that I will actually show you because why not we're already here so as you can see this template here I'm gonna use this template you can click and copy the template when it's uh, shared with you and you can add videos this is a loom video here um, you can play the video you can actually get started with any of like your whatever you want to put in here notes or things that you just want to share you can have pictures um, it's so fun because if you are using this as a mood board you have the ability to actually drag and drop colors and I'm talking about like what and it's amazing what's just so great about this tool is that you can type in the hex color if you wanted to of course I am typing random stuff in but you can type in the hex color you can display it in any other color like the the different conversions of the color itself you can change the color um, by clicking on this but you can also because sometimes I need to actually pick the color because I forget what the color actually is or whatever and it does that but as you can see here the description shows that exact name I didn't know that some of these colors had crazy names what sunflower it's just beyond me 
anyway, there's like things that you can do here with that. But then the other thing that I love the most is that you can add photos. It recommends photos for you, but there's a feature that's called Web Clipper. And the Web Clipper, basically when you're on any website, if you see a photo, it has a hover. Kind of like when you see Pinterest little pins, right, on photos. You have the same thing on this. You can save it on a board. Um, and that's if you're doing like a mind map or if you're doing any kind of different mood boards or thought processes or build outs. You can just literally put it on your board from any website. I think that's dope. Um, you can also upload any of those as well, which I think is so crazy. Um, the other thing that I love as well is that you are able to add notes. <coughs> You're able to add notes, which I mean, anyone can add a note, but you could be fancy with this note. Excuse me there. So with the note, what you can do is actually title, change the titles of the note. So if I want to do a big hair, say hi. <coughs> we can do that. You can also do normal text, which hi. And then, or I think you should say hi with a period because you know it's a statement. We have coat blocks. You have quotes. All the things that make it fun. <coughs> Excuse me. You also have the ability to change the color of the text. So. For the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you have these dedicated colors and you have the highlighting options as well. I always like to use the bright and bold ones because they mean that's me. Um, <laughs> you have the ability to do pretty much a lot of basic things, but you can also connect tools as well. So I have this little arrow thingy majig. What I like about this is that you can change the angle of the actual arrow and you can also add a label to it you can change the name to make it dashes you can change the weight if you want it to be light or thick like thick 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 you can change the color of it as well it was a custom color if you wanted to do customized things you can upload documents and when i say upload documents i literally mean upload documents so i don't know if i have any documents that you can see on here but let's say that i uploaded a Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wanted to do a PDF, but I don't want to do a PDF that is going to show anything. But uploading a document when you save it, the great thing I like about this is that it actually expands it. So saving it, it just imports it in a second, and then you have the ability to preview on just the view, which, come on, tell me this is not cool. Tell me that's not cool. Um, and then, of course, you have the ability, like I said, to create some boards um, with like customization. So this board particularly is for um, my people who just want to learn how to map out their thoughts. I'm going to show you my map out and how I did mine. But if you want to map out your thoughts, just the, the word talks about us just writing it down and making it plain. So I've given that direction based on how I did it and then, you know, the results. However, I'm not doing this justice, but I just want to make sure I'm staying within a time that just makes sense for you guys to watch. I'm going to now show you my complete client journey workflow. And please, know that I am a person that changes my workflow probably every week. So at the end of the day, this is what it's currently now, but it could be different next week. Um, I'm going to start from the top and just zoom all the way out so you guys can see that there are different um, uh, <laughs> angles that I have here in terms of where I have the workflow starting. The first top is going to be the lead to booked. And then from the second one, it's going to be booked to offboarding. And then the third one is going to be the back end support. Um, I tend to look at it from different angles because it does tell an overall story, but at the same time, the story can change over the aspects of what is happening or if it's automated or manual. So I am the automation junkie. So what I like to do is automate all the things I can, but I do like to be very like personal with people. Um, so there are some things that are actually manual. Um, the workflow is always going to start with a kickoff form because I use Sweet Dash. And if you don't know what Sweet Dash is, there's videos on that that I made. Go check them out. And then you have the ability to set that clarity call, which is the re redirected from that click off call form. And then you see that Traff is a tool that I use. And I want to tell you about Traff later. But Traff is a tool that I use to actually have all of my calls um, scheduled. I don't use Street Dash because I purchased a whole lot of absolute deals and yeah, baby, I'm just there. Um, 
I have Mobile Text Alert, which is another app in Mozilla that I purchased that sends all my text messages out and ClickUp because I do all things through ClickUp. You saw videos, come on, you know this. Then you have my proposal, which is done through Sweet Dash, and Sweet Dash proposal is selected by me because I want to make sure it's personalized in a sense of I know what you need and how to get that to you. Um, Airtable is where I store all of my data. I love Airtable, and I'm going to talk about Airtable a bit later in another video and how I store my data. I have the invoicing portion in Sweet Dash as well, and then it sends over. Um, the invoice through Sweet Dash, but then I manually go ahead and update that and click up because there are triggers that does things that I like because once I actually click a button, what happens is that it sends a notification to my Slack channel. Um, I had an ad Slack in here actually. But once the air table is updated as well, um, uh, then it goes over now to Sweet Dash again where they get the onboarding form. They schedule another call for their pivoting session. ClickUp is the place that they're marked book and then Airtable gets updated. Now when they're actually getting booked and onboarded, what I normally do is I send them a care package. However, I paused that because of the fact that I wanted to do more care packaging through different aspects. and. Well, I'm doing that now, so if you're not knowing because you're not currently on the path of being my client yet, I like giving gifts. I'm just saying. Okay, so <laughs> I like pivoting sessions. I don't call them strategy sessions as much anymore because they are pivoting sessions. That's powerful. Um, and in that call, we do a mapping board similar to this one, but I started to use Podia or Poda. Puda, whatever it's called, I love that tool. Um, and I'll show you that in another video. ClickUp is where you see that I do some manual updates and then there's optional collab connect. So I, because I choose to consult with people, I tend to recommend the best that I, I know of. And if you guys have noticed, you have the automation in green and the red is manual because there are things, like I said, that I do manually. And that's only because I choose to, I can automate it, but. No, some things you have to leave personally. For the one-time projects, there are one-time things that we do. Um, and then for the ongoing projects, um, we kind of don't offboard because we love to support you guys. So we continuously do that as well. Um, and then we have the back-end support. So for the leads, things like the Google Calendar scheduling, that was changed because I no longer use Google Calendar settings. But again, this is just again not all updated yet proposal is through sweet dash the onboarding and offboarding is through um sweet dash and a member of my team does the onboarding portion of it strategy session is done through um them scheduling the call and as you can see the duration of a project is completed through both uh click up slack and then mail note slash craft which is another tool that i use and you guys may be wondering well marie you have a lot of tools listed here why do you use all of them because they all do different things. And even though I can use one tool to do all those things, I like the flexibility that I have when knowing that this is specifically for this. This is a house in this. And I don't know, it just makes me feel really good to know that I can do that and that I can also stream on other businesses. What I can say is that it's been very fun to know that each client that has joined on my onboarding process has really loved it enough to actually get it themselves. So I've, I don't wanna say persuaded, but I've gotten people to actually have Sweet Dash, ClickUp, and also utilize Milanote for their mapping. Um, but for the most part, I call it the Royal Experience. So I'm thinking that's gonna be a service that I provide in the future. And if you guys are possibly open or interested in that, please let me know. What that experience is, is basically giving you guys the exact experience that you have experienced with me. So that's the onboarding process, the gifts, the things that really, you know, portray the excellence of client service um, because I think it's all about client success and if you're in the business right now looking for a new onboarding process and just kind of curious about what could possibly work for your company um, or just for you then I'll be happy to talk through that so you can schedule a strategy session or even just a let's chat call I think information is always free and I really enjoyed this I hope that you guys enjoyed it again this board is really just for me to map all the things out. I have a default board that I use for my clients when they get onboarded, but I tend to change this as well a lot because what tends to happen is that I forget that 
not every client does the same things and sometimes you need to customize it. So I've customized this pretty often. Um, and I also had a few templates that I archived, but I basically create a whole client profile for them, including their um, colors and all the things. For example, I'll show you one one. Well, I can't show you any because I have private stuff in here. But I hope that you guys did like this and enjoy it. If you did, I hope to see you in another video. Bye. I'm all about